I didn't give this game a fair shot. I feel I underdid it. So today I shall try again. I'm even considering unlisting the other video. Welcome to GSR. Today we're going to the Spiral. The Spiral Knights. Knights. Spiral Knight started on the 4th of April 2011 by Free Ring Design. The game is described as an European style top down family friendly RPG. We launch to an eager community ready for a heap of fun, and so that's what they get. Under OOO or the Ring Design, Spiral Knights received the majority of its updates. Fall down from the ship that's probably been shot down a thousand times by now and come around to the charming colorful world with your sword, gun and shield, slowly showing a friendly nice world that delves into pet stealers and uncovering the true evil. What is in the core? Well here comes trouble. In 2016, Sega has also raised a large number of layoffs. This happened on March 4th and so on March 6th, Grey Heaven sees trouble and a to this day charitable action, Grey Heaven with multiple OOO employees take over Spiral Knights and keep it alive. In honesty, things like this are rare. People keeping a game around by love of the game itself. I think folk are aware of how I feel about things like this. It's rare due to how often failures end up with a cold response to the fans who are asking for a memento. Well, how is it today? Today, it's around, I'll say straight about this, the majority of people playing the game are around 20 years old veterans. I don't find new people very often anymore, same with PvP. Yet I still have plenty of fun memories of things that happened, events and a bunch of little nights of screwing around with friends. We still have events and atmosphere in the hub is always a joy. Some events are good, some are bad, mostly good. The friendly community is still there and you may definitely hop on. As of the day, the journey is not complete. So, I would like to ask something nice. If you think uh, the game should uh, stay around and get some hype like I do, you could go over to Nintendo and ask them to add Java support to the Switch. So, our 11 year old game could hop on. The rating I want to leave is to show off how nice and polite the community is. So I present Spiral Knights with a 10 out of 10, you get what you expect, a nice time. Now for those wanting to join in on the fun, if you are on the verge I'll give you some information. Spiral Knights is skill based, it will eventually start ramping up and you will need to get good at the game to beat it 100%, yet you don't need to complete the game to enjoy it. The gameplay alone bolsters a very nice system of combat with damage types and weapon variants. This goes for both sides, zombies for example do shadow damage and in addition the side effect of their color, example stun and burn. If you don't want a game too big, you're in luck. The game takes up 500 megabytes, which is in the ballpark of Terraria. Genuinely, I have a good memory for this game and still tend to play it. So as for now. May our paths cross in the clockworks.